I was about uh, 14, 15 years old. And, and um, like the president of my club, he asked me to help, uh, you know, uh, co to coach uh, younger kids. And, and, you know, I liked it. So, but I, I didn't really focus on that because I, I, I mainly focused on my player journey. But I, as I grew up, you know, it's, and, and especially during the pandemic, you know, no one was able to train. Uh, so th this is the moment I started um, my, my, my private coaching business. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i would say because of the pandemic pandemic yeah. okay awesome so for, how long have you been in, have you been coaching for now then uh for about three years mm -hmm. three years i started so i started in my hometown so it's called trois rivières mm -hmm. uh and then you know i expanded to quebec city and yeah okay awesome so t tell us a bit about wh where are you currently located then yeah, so right now I'm currently uh, in New York City. Uh, mm -hmm. I study here and I play soccer also. So I uh, I started coaching here, you know, to help my parents pay for education, mm -hmm. and and I I mainly uh, market my myself on Instagram. So players uh, reach out to me on my Instagram page, uh, where I post uh, almost daily uh, football content uh, with young younger younger kids also just uh, training by myself. So, you know, people are interesting in my content and they ask for me because they uh, also one of the, the great thing about, um, about that is people reach out to me and they tell me how, you know, I inspire them with my uh, training sessions and stuff like that. So that means the world to me because my drills, you know, they help them as players. So that's awesome. That's really good. That's really good. So tell us a bit about, about your business then. What does what does Chavi or Javi yeah. uh, performance do then? Yeah, so we I mainly focus on the technique. I think as a as a footballer, the 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 the, the most important thing is the technical part part first. Mm -hmm. uh, so we focus on the first touch, awareness, uh, so technical drills and stuff like that. But um, my business is we started, you know, smaller and now I expand, I expand, I have more and more clients and, uh, yeah, so I do, uh, one, uh, I can do a semi-private with mm -hmm. two or three and I, I can also do group, group session. So with, sure. uh, yeah, six, seven players. Okay. Awesome. So for you that ha you're currently playing as well, that's correct. Yeah. I'm currently yeah. playing. Also, yeah. Perfect. So you, you're currently playing, but you're also coaching. So what does a good quality coaching session have to have? Yeah, uh, I think I love to go like step by step. So I always start, you know, with some, uh, the warm up. Uh, I like uh, agility drills, you know, with some uh, circles with the ladder work. I think footwork is, is, is extremely important for a, a footballer. Yeah. And then, you know, um, I can do some uh, slalom drills, uh, some one touch drill, two touch. Uh, so we, we grow and grow, you know, bigger space. And after that, you know, uh, more movement. So yeah, that's basically how I, I set up my sessions, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. I love that. So, so tell us a bit about your, your clients then when you, when you bring on a client into your business, into your training business, what are a couple of things you look for in a player when you work with them? Honestly, scale-wise, I, I don't have any, you know, requirement. You can be, it can be the first time you touch a soccer ball. Mm -hmm. I, I don't care at all. It's just, I want, I want someone passionate. I want some, someone, you know, that care about the game, that, that you know, that want uh, to, to get involved, you know, in this game. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's, it, it's more fun for a coach. Uh, to train with a, a, a motivated uh, player, you know, mm -hmm. that is, not, you know, that comes to work. Mm -hmm. So that's basically who I'm looking for. And, and it can, you know, uh, about a month ago, I trained a 40 years old woman. Oh, she, wow. was, she was a former uh, professional boxer mm -hmm. and she wanted, you know, to work on her footwork. Mm -hmm. So agility, stuff like that. And she said, you know, soccer is a good game uh, to do it. So I can train, you know, three-year-old kid to, to 40 years old uh, the woman yeah mm -hmm. yeah, Don't yeah. yeah that's awesome that's awesome so what what skills have you taken from from playing and coaching into business 
Yeah, so obviously, you know, I started playing as a, when I was three, four years old. So I know a ton of drills um, since I, I started to play this beautiful game. So I have, you know, a lot of, law, a lot of knowledge from, from great coaches, you know. Uh, I, I had the chance to be coached by uh, professional coaches. You know, right now, the CF Montreal head coach, mm -hmm. uh, he coached me. Uh, the, 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 head co uh, the assistant coach for the Canadian men's national team coached me. So wow. it's, it's, you know, it's, it's crazy. And I take a little bit from every coach, you know. Mm -hmm. So to, to, to become a, a better coach for the players, uh, Yeah, so I would say I, I take a lot about my experience, the knowledge that I acquire from these amazing, you know, uh, you know, a coach. coach. And yeah, so that's that's mainly, yeah. Perfect. Love that. Love that. So let me take you back when you first started uh, your your training business then. So what what has been, your, what, what was your biggest obstacle when you when you first started? Um, my biggest obstacle. Uh, honestly, I did it so far because I'm, I'm so new in this business. You know, it's been not even three years yet. Uh, I didn't face any uh, big obstacles. I would say the biggest challenge is, is for consist consistency, you know? So I have, well, I, sometimes I feel my sessions and, you know, even after the, 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 the session is done, you know, I need to edit the content, uh, film the drill. And then upload it, you know, to, to market myself, to put my name out there, you know, to to reach out to more clients. So I would say the the hustle is the the biggest obstacle. You know, you need to stay remain consi consistent and uh, yeah, relentless. Yeah. Okay. Love that. Love that. So where where do you see private training going in in Canada in the next two to five years? Then. I think my, my business is going to grow a, a lot. So because private training in Canada is not as much developed as in UK or in the US. So here right now in New York, there's, there's a lot of pri private coach. But in Canada, in, in the province of Quebec, uh, maybe there's five, six. There's not much at all. So I, I really want to I wanna be, you know, the, the main name mm -hmm. in, If, if the parents, they want their kids to have a private session or they think about Coach Tavi, you know? Mm -hmm. So that, that's my main focus. So I think my business is going to grow a lot and I want to be the, the main name, you know, for people to, to, to mm -hmm. when they want to get better, you know, they, they know they can reach out mm -hmm. to me and, and book a session. Love that, love that. So, uh, recently, I, I, I signed up with, a, I did a partnership Mm -hmm. with a mental coach so he played at the same college as me yeah. and and right now he focused mainly on the mental side so okay. uh, the goal is in the future you know um even even recently i have a fitness coach that reached out to me so it would be people can book for the full package you know they mm -hmm. have the fitness part they have yeah. the technical part with me with the balls and drills you know how to get better yeah. and then they also get the mental part So they, they can book for the full package. So I think the value of, of a partnership like that, you know, it's, it's huge. And I, we all know uh, the mental side of this game, it's super important. It's hard, you know, and when your mental is not at, at 100%, you know, you, you, you don't prefer, perform at 100% also. So. Perfect. How did you build that partnership with the other, with the other coach then? Yeah, so with the mental uh, trainer, uh, he contacted me, and and I knew him by name. And when when we just uh, talk, spoke to to each other on the phone, you know, the connection was was there already. So so it was very easy um, to set up this partnership. And then I don't have yet um, a fitness coach, you know, in my team. But uh, some people uh, they reached out to me, and you know, I'm. I'm just, I just have to take a decision, you know, of who I pick and uh, yeah, be wise about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love that. Love that. So how do you, how do you balance uh, playing and coaching? Yeah. So um, my main priority is playing right now, you know, because I'm just 21 years old mm -hmm. and um, 
I still make it. I still want to make it to the next level. Uh, but uh, I love coaching as well, and I love to share my 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 learning experience. Mm -hmm. So I was in a day. I think it's it's very easy to balance. So it's for me. It's not even working when I train with someone. It's mm -hmm. it's just having fun and 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 you know teaching. So I I can you know train two or three sessions per day. And then later in the day, you know, I have my team uh, practice and stuff like that. So it's easy to balance, yeah, with the schedule. Love that, love that, cool. So what would you say to another C Canadian coach who's watching this or maybe listening to, to this interview and they haven't started their business yet or they want to start their business, but they haven't yet? What would you say to them? What would, would be say, the number one advice? Yeah, I would say not to be scared to start you know, the, the hardest step, I think, is to start the business. Mm. So um, put your name out there. Uh, it's may, it might be hard also uh, to start to uh, have some clients, but not, not to give up, you know. Just keep going, keep grinding, uh, upload content. And then, you know, the clients will come, especially in Canada, because there's a lack of, um, of partner tra tra training trainers. Yeah. So there's a lot missing. So I would say just, you know, go for it. Don't be scared. Yeah. Love that. Love that. So let me take you back when you first started your, your training business then. How, how did you get your first client? Yeah. So my first client, it was, um, it was a, a, a client I coached when I was younger. So at like 13, 14 years old, you know, with the club, like I mentioned, mm -hmm. and then, with, in, you know, in the pandemic, every every little kids they, they, they couldn't wait to play. You know, they were tired to be in lockdown at home and stuff. So as soon as I said, you know, uh, I, I, I'm starting a partner training session, you know, uh, two two meters away. Yeah. And clients were just reaching out, reaching out. It, it, it wasn't, it, to be honest, it was easy to, mm -hmm. to get my, my clients. That's awesome. I, yeah. And how, how many are you currently working with at the moment? Over 30. Over to Oh, wow. Do they yeah. come on a consistent basis? Yeah, yeah so yeah. Uh, some players, it's uh, one training every two weeks. Some other players, it, it might be twice a week. And I even have some players, it's three times per week. Oh, so wow. it's, it's, it, it really depends, you know. Of, yeah. Of, you know, the, 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 the level that the players wants to get. You know, if he's more amateur, you know, he wants to get better, but it's not very his main focus. He's going to train once a week. But mm -hmm. if, if you, you see he wants to join a professional academy or, or he really want, you know, the push to, to, to get to the next level, it's going to be more for sure. Love that. Love that. So how do you, how do you market your business then? My, my market plan is mainly through social media. Mm -hmm. So I, I use uh, Instagram. Uh, I post, you know, daily, daily soccer content, uh, training sessions, uh, some story about the players, you know, some interview with the players. Uh, what, what did they like about the session? So, and, 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 and I think also the kids, they love, you know, to be on the page and, and, and to see themselves play. So yeah. I think it's fun for them also. So, yeah, that's, that's mainly my market plan. You know, I didn't, I, I didn't even have to spend money, uh, to, to, to market myself, uh, it's, it just came, you know, it came easily, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Love that. Love that. So what, what would you say is the number one thing that kids need today then to become a better player? Um, the mental side is extremely important, but you know, when they're younger, they don't even know what this means really. Mm -hmm. So I would say, honestly, it's to have fun. Just have fun playing this game. You'll get better. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I I put a lot of pressure when I was younger, and 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 sometimes you know, I regret to put a lot of pressure because it, it's a game at the end of the day, you know. Yeah. But just have fun. Have fun playing with the ball and the first touch. First touch is is, is extremely important. But this is when you know, uh, the level uh, gets better, and as you get older. Mm -hmm. So how how do you build? self-discipline then um 
I, I speak a lot to my uh, to the players I coach about nutrition, uh, how I put, how it's important to put you know good food in your body, because uh, it's 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 gonna guide your your performance and also sleep. Uh, it's important to sleep uh, at least you know eight hours a day, and I, I mainly talk about the invisible preparation. Yes, um, this is you know because it's it's gonna have a, a big impact on your playing. Mm -hmm. So this this is you're gonna be you know you're gonna be disciplined if if you you can manage to eat well sleep at least eight hours a day and yeah excellent love that love that so Javier tell tell us where where do you see your your company in the next five years from now so right now I have maybe around thirty clients so. I see myself as the main name, you know, in the province of Quebec. I want, you know, people to, you know, I want, they ask their parents, you know, I, I want to get better. It doesn't matter if I need to drive two hours, you know, to because to, I want this coach. I want to train with this guy because he's the best. So he, 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 he makes the players improve their performance. And I want to have my own um, soccer, uh, soccer place. So I want my indoor indoor facility, maybe with uh, two two turfs. So I have maybe coaches working for me as well. Mm -hmm. I want to give you know clinics, camps, uh, mm -hmm. online sessions to a, a little bit. My one of my model is uh, Joner Football. Mm -hmm. Joner Football. He's in Australia. So I really I really try to follow his type of business because he's extremely successful, mm -hmm. and and I think you don't. In this niche, you don't need to recreate everything, you know. There's people that are already successful that have a great, great market plan and you just need, you know, to follow, follow this path. Love that, love that. I'm, I'm guessing in Quebec, it gets very cold in winter, right? Yeah, so, uh, you know, in the summer, it's easy to train outside, but especially in the winter, you know, the place will always be booked. People want to still play the soccer, you know, mm. but outside the crazy winter, snowstorms it's yeah. not possible so that's that's even a, a bigger advantage to to be in quebec yeah love that perfect so Javi, last two questions then yeah and these are these are more personal ones so the first one is what does failure mean to you and the second one is how important is it to take risks mm. nice so for the first one, I think failure, it's, it's when, you know, you try something and it doesn't work and you stop. Mm -hmm. it, this for me is failure. What, what each player should do, it's okay. You know, you go to an open trial. You're not going to get a call back. But don't stop, you know, like, like the quote, never doubt yourself in, mm -hmm. in your back, in the background. You should, you should still go after your dreams. You should still continue if one coach doesn't see what you think you are there's going to be another coach that will like you so failure for me is when 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 you you have goals and you try them and and it doesn't work out and you stop mm -hmm. this, this, in everything in life it's bad mm -hmm. and, and what was the second part so the second one was how important is it to take risks yeah they say what risk it for the biscuit, something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's the, so you need to risk it, you know, because in life you never know um, if you don't take risk. Uh, it, it's easy to stay in your comfortable zone, you know. Mm -hmm. You stay in your little town, you don't go out, you don't go to open trials, you don't go in other countries. Mm -hmm. So I would say, me personally, I take a lot of risk. And that's why I'm here right now in New York City, you know? Mm -hmm. If I never took risks in my life, I would still be in my, you know, little hometown um, uh, playing, you know, amateur football. So, yeah. Take the love, risk. Yeah. Love that. Love that. All right, Javi. Well, thank you very much for, for taking the time out to, to share your story. Um, I know many coaches watching will be inspired Thank by you. especially making the move from from Canada to a new city you know that's quite scary and you've not just done that but you've also started your business in a new 
in a new city as well, which which takes a lot of courage. Mm. So fantastic. Now, if any coach wants to follow you or get in contact yeah. with you, what would be the best way to do so? So uh, mainly through Instagram. So I have my personal account. It's uh, Xavier uh, under, I don't know the name in English, mm -hmm. uh, Laneville. So, or my uh, coaching page, it's mm -hmm. a coach uh, Chavi Performance. Mm -hmm. And also I have a YouTube channel as well. So okay. uh, Xavier Laneville. So mainly throughout there. Perfect. Perfect. So what we'll do then is we'll put the, your, your links under the video. So yeah. anyone that wants to follow your, your, your journey, your company, or wants to get in contact with you, they can do so there. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me too. It was, it was good. Great all question. Right. Thank you very much for, for coming on again and wish you all the best in the future. And when I'm in Quebec, I'm definitely going to come and see you. Awesome. And visit you. <laughs>